If a friend is kicking you out on the streets, because you spoke up about your feelings, this is not a healthy or respectful way to treat a friend. It is important to prioritize your own safety and well-being in the situation. If you feel that you are in danger or at risk of harm, it is important to seek help immediately. You may want to consider calling a local crisis hotline or contacting emergency services if you are in immediate danger. In terms of addressing the situation with your friend, it may be helpful to have a calm and respectful conversation to better understand their perspective and to express your own concerns and feelings. It is important to assert your own boundaries and to communicate clearly about what you need and expect from the relationship. If your friend is unwilling or unable to respect your boundaries and to treat you with kindness and respect, it may be necessary to consider ending the relationship or seeking support from a trusted authority, such as a counselor or mediator. Remember that you deserve. So, I'm still in your apartment's response. Um, so the whole situation, I'm staying with this lady and it's her ex. Um, I was staying with her at the other place, which was cool over there. She was nicer. She was like friendly. Um, she had another caregiver, and she used to call me a cow. And I didn't even know what it freaking meant because somebody told me, and I was, it was like, you should let her call you a cow. So basically, when we moved in here, like. For a while she was going and I was like, I don't really like that word because I know it means a cow. So I told her like, hey, can you stop calling me that word if you text message? And I was for sure play about it. I said, hey, I have autism. And certain words I don't are sensitive to. And especially when she said like, I asked him a cow with that ever meant. She was like, uh, and it's a cow. I'm like, evidently you're calling me a cow because you already told me what I meant. And so I finally told her, like, can you stop calling me that word because it makes me uncomfortable? And she was like, taking it to her stream and talking about don't bring it up no more. And I was saying, like, can you stop calling me that because you just call me that, like, when it was the other day when we came upstairs and you're trying to deny it. And she took it to a whole freaking other level. And it was me telling her not to come in my room when I'm not here. Like, I told her, like, if you're gonna come in my room, can you please tell me, like, if you're taking stuff out of my room that I don't know of, like, that's disrespectful to my privacy and she couldn't have like a crucial conversation or respectful conversation she had to like be all offensive and be all mad and angry for no reason and then the whole thing led to the other day her writing me a note telling me I have to leave in 90 days making up all these excuses saying I try to give you a home and all this crazy stuff like all because I spoke up about something that made me feel some type of way. And I'm like, is this even like a real friendship? Because the way you're acting, like, it's like weird. I don't know. It's crazy. But the real situation is a guy's in control of it. And so he led me to the situation where I'm going to leave the apartment and get out of here and live in my own place. Hopefully, like, the 1st of July or something, or I'm thinking that, like, I don't know.
but I evidently got it because it gets kind of like, um, she had me sign a paper the other day, so I had to turn it, sign it in, sign it, pack it, and then she said she got it, I'm not sure about it, contact me when I'm approved, she said. for the um, moving date.